Hi, my name is Kirsten Foss and I'm a business coach for the spa industry. So we are fast approaching December, the busiest time of the year for spa owners. This is a pretty exciting month for us. I get it. I've been there because that means we have more services booked already. Uh, it means that we typically can sell more retail. People are just in the shopping buying mode. And for sure, gift certificate sales are at an all time high for the, full, for the year. Now, what I wanna talk about today is how can you leverage an already booked schedule? As much as it feels great to look at that schedule and see no white spaces available, you, we are also in an industry where what we sell is time. And once time is gone, we can't get it back. So what we wanna to try to do is work a little smarter, not so hard, and see what are, where we can leverage what we're doing to make a few more sales. That may have not have happened if we just hadn't have thought about it. So the first piece of um, information I want to share with you is to see where you can, what services you can piggyback with some of your other bigger services. So if the main uh, focus of your business is skincare, then what other smaller services could you suggest that you could add on that wouldn't really take much more time than what's already scheduled? Now, for skin, you could add on an LED treatment. You could add on a simple brow tint. That could be like a 12 to $18 increase in your average ticket. The LED, I know, is quite a bit more. Um, if you are a lasher, you could do some sort of um, eye treatment to treat some of the fine lines around here while you're attaching lashes. You know, it's not touching the lashes that you're working on, but it's, um, adding something that would make that area pop out even better after their lashes. So I know that there's things on your menu that can be added on to piggyback on the service and increase your average ticket. So I want you to go through them, see what you can do, then make a list of what they are, have a little huddle with your team and communicate what, where those opportunities lie for them. So the next piece that I want to share with you as far as how to leverage an already booked schedule is about getting your sales conversations down pat. Now, this is a piece of business in the spa industry that is usually not done well. And I get it because typically the estheticians do not like the word sales. It feels icky and gross and they don't want to be a salesperson. But the fact of the matter is, is they are. They're just in the service industry, right? So sometimes it just means shifting the mindset from selling to educating. For me, way back when, that was when um, I had a real shift in my own uh, retail sales was when I, I looked at it rather than selling, I, I shifted that mindset and saw it more as educating my client. And that was a complete game changer for my retail sales. So. What needs to happen though, because we're not typically good at sales conversations, because they make us feel uncomfortable, is that there is no real script or, or plan for how to sell. And not all of us are born salespeople and we need those scripts to follow because they're a system. They're a sales system for us. So maybe you need to sit down and write out what you say when you're talking to clients. Maybe you need to sit down and write, do a brain dump and figure out your process for selling. I had my own process and I had to teach my own team. My process for say for a facial, it, the sales conversation actually started at the consultation. It continued at the point of skin analysis and it continued on again until after the facial when I recommended product. But it was much a much bigger conversation than what I think most people would have considered a sales conversation. So. Um, whatever your sales conversation is, how you do it with your guests, maybe your team needs help with their own scripting and writing your own script out and your process is part of the sales system and that needs to be shared because that will help them to sell more. Now, the last piece of advice I have for you to leverage a booked schedule is to 
Listen to your clients' nuances. What are they saying that you could be picking up on opportunities? So maybe they're talking about their Christmas shopping and what they have to do and you ask them, oh yeah, who else do you need to get for? And you know, what are you thinking about? And maybe the conversation can, with a little bit of help on your end and of your estheticians, help guide the conversation into telling the opportunities about gift certificates. Or maybe you have some retail products that are packaged up into cute little stocking stuffer bundles. So look at, um, listen to what guests are talking about with their needs and wants and seeing where you can use that as an opportunity to offer them something that you could provide. So those are my three tips for you to leverage an already booked schedule. Look for the, pig, the services that you can piggyback, um, get your sales conversations down smoothly, and to listen to the nuances and opportunities that your guests are already telling you. I hope you have a great December. You're gonna be hearing more business tips for me on how to handle December and the new year coming up. Thanks for joining me.